Yeah, well, we, look, we've sat down and had discussions and uh, tried to look at how we can keep players a little fresher for uh, this remaining uh, nine weeks uh, where we go around the world twice and play uh, about seven uh, test matches um, and then have multiple time changes. So last year we found we really struggled. So this year what we're looking to do is just take 28 to uh, Argentina uh, and then send some players home. And at the same time, uh, we'll send a group of six players from New Zealand to South Africa. Uh, and they'll meet us there. They'll get there a bit earlier than we will. And then um, you know, the remaining group will, will come over. So we'll have about 21 guys who look like 21, 22 guys that'll do both. Yeah, well, the core group that we'll keep together are, the, uh, by and large, the guys that haven't, who haven't played a lot of rugby this year, a lot of game time, and um, that means that uh, you know they probably haven't travelled as much as some of the other guys as well. We've had teams go to South Africa twice already this year, uh, and, and it is it is the hardest league. You know, talking to the South Africans last night, you know they even find it hard um, doing the the South African RG trip, um, where there's a stopover in St Paulo. We're, we're there for six hours, so it makes it longer than you know just getting on a plane and flying. So yeah, we're, we're just trying to think outside the box. So if you keep doing what you always do, you get what you always get. So this year we've, we're, we're looking and you know, it, it puts a lot of pressure on us going to Argentina because they're a good side and we yeah. need to play well to, uh, to perform there. And, um, but we're, we're confident in the group we're taking there that you know, should be able to do the job.